r slash ass credit people who went to school with celebrities before they were famous what were they like is a terrorist famous i went to school with richard reed the shoe bomber my mom used to feel sorry for his mom because his dad was a complete bastard when he wasn't in prison can't ever defend what he tried to do but that kid never stood a chance the worst crime he committed was wasting everyone's time by making us take off our shoes was a freshman when Chris Pratt was a senior. We didn't interact much, but he was in a lot of the assemblies and I did tech theater for a play he was in. He was a goofball. Lots of charisma, laid back, class clown. About what you'd expect seeing him now. I went to school with Terry Crews for a couple years. Nice kid and a great artist. He and one other kid used to have drawing competitions before class started. Somebody would yell out a comic book character and he and the other kid, also a great artist, would both draw. I can't remember who was better because it was a lifetime ago. He punched me in the chest once at an assembly and totally winded me. I was being a dick, so I had it coming. Can't believe no one has mentioned Drake yet. He went to my high school, though in different grades so I didn't know him. He was already famous from Degrassi High, and he was hilariously pompous. This school had quite a few rich families, and the rich kids loved him of course. I mean, he was a very rich kid named Aubrey living in a rich white slash Jewish area. His started from the bottom stuff in songs and street accent is hilariously fake. Went to school with a daughter of the president of the country. Technically it wasn't her who's famous, outside of a few TV appearances during ceremonies and the inauguration, but it was funny, after her dad was elected, how we'd go for a lunch or something and she'd be stealthily pointing at inconspicuously looking men in plain clothes a few tables away who were the bodyguard slash secret service. Then those guys would be trailing us 20 to 30 meters, hiding in the crowd so as not to be obvious etc. Weird experience overall. She was pretty down to earth, her behavior didn't change at all, except leaving the school through the back door as the media, roughly a week after the election, were essentially camping in front of the main entrance trying to get an interview. Post Malone and I graduated from high school together. I even have a picture from when our art class recreated the Last Supper with McDonald's for someone's art project. He posed as Jesus and I was basically Judas. We weren't friends, but he was always friendly when we did speak. He had a very chill demeanor and always cracked jokes in our history class. I like the dude. Brad Pitt went to my high school when my mom was there, she said he was really nice and kind of a nerd, hung out with the other theater kids mostly. Went to junior high and high school with Taylor Lautner played football together my freshman year. Dude was really nice, and a bit awkward. This was before the whole Twilight thing, and he was most famous for Shark Boy and Lava Girl. He seemed pretty much what you expect a theater kid to be like. But really nice dude overall, pretty quiet, played Pokemon Leaf Green together a few times. Demi Lovato. And let's just say she doesn't tell the whole story when she's talking about being bullied. Edit just going to move the commented elaboration up to the main post for the convenience of readers. She was a bully who got bullied. It's the classic chicken and egg scenario. She was bullied because she was terrible. But the bullying made her worse. So it's very he said she said about who started it. She was also just a piece of work in general. Her mother got up on the lunch tables at one point and yelled that we would all regret the way we treated her daughter, rolling eyes face. She thought she was a gift from God and wanted to be treated as very about being recognized for her supreme vocal talent and such. I went to high school with Sean Mendez. Didn't know him personally, as I was in 12th grade while he was a 9th grader. Despite that age gap, I knew who he was. Girls in my grade were already gushing about how cute and talented he was. I'm friends with a handful of people who were very close to him, and I'm happy to say that he seems like a really kind-hearted person. He never portrayed an ounce of arrogance. He was always respectful to those around him. I came back for a grade 13 and he was back for grade 10, ended up being his last year in regular HS, his fame started to pick up real momentum, but he remained the same grounded individual. It's been a treat to watch his career flourish and I will always be a fan. Plus, it's cool watching friends from high school casually traveling the world with him. Those guys got it good. Edit, I feel like I missed an important part. I remember him getting the gears from a lot of males in my grade and I don't think he ever got too worried about it. Kid was cool and level-headed and he's done wonders for himself. My brother went to high school with Taylor Swift. She was actually super mean to people and got booed off the stage at her junior year talent show. 
Growing up in the Toronto suburbs, myself and friends slash family knew plenty of people from bands as well as future NH lurs. An ex-girlfriend went to school with former WWE performer Santino, nice guy all around when I met him a couple times back in the day, glad he did well for himself. Went to grade school with Jason Spezza myself, bit of an arrogant prick if you ask me but you kind of have to be to make it as an athlete. We all went after his knees and gym class smile. When I was in bands we actually gave death from above 1979 or whatever they're called now, a spot on the bill of one of our local shows we put on, well before they got more famous of course. Also new Ill Scarlet, Cancer Bats, Alexis on Fire, Billy Talent, the end from the local mid-2000s music scene. All super nice guys. Do professional athletes count? I went to elementary school with number 16 wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. I actually went to his birthday party a couple times while attending school with him. We weren't best friends but we talked daily and often enough to get invited to outside of school events but then again we were both very young. From what I remember, he and his family were very caring and genuinely nice slash considerate people. They had a very comfortable and family oriented vibe to them. It seemed like a great environment to grow up in. To my understanding, he kept up with his optimistic personality throughout the rest of his school years and remains humble in his profession, which is always a nice change. I didn't go to school with him but my sixth form was in the same area where Sam Smith grew up and I know a lot of people whose music teacher was also his teacher or other similar sort of connection, some even know him through said avenues. Apparently he always knew he could sing and would make it big and so would not care at all about any other subjects apart from music. As in, he was a massive dick and was arrogant and cocky and all that kind of stuff. My mam was in the same high school as Gerard Butler. I believe there is three years between them but they also lived on the same street briefly. They both attended the University of Glasgow too, although my mam moved to London with my auntie to another university where my mam got a degree in law. I don't know why they moved, especially as the University of Glasgow is a law school I believe. She always has said he was lovely, cared for a lot of people and was just nice all the time, she's always went to the cinema in the opening week to see his films. That being said, she was pretty much devastated when Butler's house was destroyed in the fires in California a couple years back. Played hockey with Justin Bieber. He was a douche. It was house league hockey and he wouldn't pass the puck or get off the ice for shift changes because he thought he was all that and a bag of potatoes. Around Christmas, he told the coaches he was leaving for Los Angeles to make an album thus, wouldn't be playing anymore. We were all stoked. Fast forward six months and baby was all over the radio. Most people around my age were like, fuck why that kid? And then there were the few who pretended he was their best friend to try to ride the gravy train. I went to the same university as the Boston Bomber. I was a senior in high school when the bombing happened. He was a sophomore. When I got to school, I befriended a bunch of juniors and seniors through one of my classes. Every single upperclassman I met had a story about how cool and laid back he was. That he was always at the parties, had a lot of girls, and notoriously known for having a lot of weed. I don't remember if he was a dealer. Anyway, he was a typical popular dude bro. One guy I met lived in the same suite as him in the sophomore dorms. Said that in the beginning of the year, he was cool AF. Then, suddenly, he got really closed off and never left his dorm. Then, on Marathon Monday, they were all ordered to evacuate from campus. Next day, everyone's watching the news at home and Joe Carr is on the TV for bombing the marathon and his brother shooting a cop near MIT. No one could believe it. It fucked with my school a lot. Bill O'Reilly dragged us on his show. Retention got all fucked up everyone started transferring to the other UMasses. I graduated in 2017. I'd say that the reputation started getting better around then. I went to middle school with Drake. He was a year older with my older bro and he cried one time in the boys gym change room because another boy had some designer sweater or something and he didn't lol. I don't remember him being awful or anything just a little whiny. I actually got invited to his house last summer and met him and told him we went to middle school together etc and he was really nice. I went to high school with a girl a year younger than me who ended up being a somewhat successful adult film actress, and I think she is doing more behind the camera work now like production and stuff. We were friends for a few years, and she dated a close friend of mine for a bit during my junior or senior year. She has a shtick in her acting persona of being nerdy and dorky and it is 100% true to her Earl character at least back when I knew her. I feel really weird whenever I happen to be doing, uh, research, and one of her works pops up, since I really have a difficult time thinking of her in any way other than a platonico I used to eat lunch with her and she's helpful and nice. I can't even watch them, 
even though she is objectively an attractive person. I haven't spoken with her in something like 14 years or so. In fact, the whole wacky path that led to me moving across the country and meeting my wife would never have happened if she hadn't invited me to a party at her place when we were like 19 so hey thanks. I also went to high school and had a couple classes with Eric Sogard, shortstop for second baseman, of the Milwaukee Brewers. I don't remember any substantial interactions with him, since it was a huge high school, like 2000 students or something, and he was more in with the cool and nice kids who did well in school and were also popular and not jerks, and I was very much one of the weird turd kids who dressed intentionally weird and yelled about poop and coasted through all of my classes. I remember him being pretty quiet but generally friendly and very likable. Like the type of kid who would grow up to be hard working and successful like an MLB player maybe. Last one was actress Emma Stone dated a friend of mine before she got her big break, and I had a thing with one of her friends so the four of us would go out occasionally. She was a really cool, like witty and smooth with a maturity level beyond all of us. Also her parents had like a movie theater and arcade in their pool house so that ruled. I bumped into her at a preview screening of her movie with Rain Wilson the rocker and told her hi and that the movie was good and that I'm happy for her and she was super chill and cool the whole time, asking how I've been with a real sincerity. Like I wasn't some dude bothering her after a screening of her first big movie in front of her industry co-workers. She deserves the success she has had, she busted her butt to get there.